The new Pacific colony reflects an expanded view of the people and cultures of the Pacific region beyond Polynesia. The way those stories are told is new too, combining ancient artifacts and multimedia exhibits for the digital era. Aloha, my name is Noel Kahanu and I'm the Director of Community Affairs at Bishop Museum. I've actually been working here for 14 years. Uh, I've been in almost every department at the museum and probably one of the, the best things that I've done here is to work on major exhibitions like the renovation of Hawaiian Hall and now the renovation of Pacific Hall. The entire renovation project for the Hawaiian Hall complex has really taken eight years. You know, the first phase of it was when we reopened in 2009 with Hawaiian Hall. So this most recent effort really culminates that entire eight-year process. Uh, over $20 million has gone to this uh, effort. A project like this really takes many, many people from all different walks of life. So on the one hand, we have the exhibit designers, and that was Ralph Applebaum and Associates. They are based in New York. They're an award-winning, uh, internationally renowned design firm. We also worked with Glenn Mason, of um, Mason Architects, and so they did the physical renovation of the hall. And then when it came to actually deciding what the internal content would be, there was a team of people within Bishop Museum, um, five of us that uh, represented different departments from education and cultural collections to uh, archeology span and exhibits and archives and library. So all of those teams, uh, these, those people from those different departments came together and formed that internal content team. And then of course we worked with different artists and scholars, uh, other people in the Native community to help us guide the process. This particular piece, uh, it, you know, it, it, it commands a major place in the hall because you come up the grand staircase and this is what you see. Um, and what is amazing about it is it actually consists of 10, at least 10 different pieces. It's a three-dimensional uh, mural that has three layers to it. And it was done by a group of over 35 artists that um, were led by Meliana Meyer and a collective of four other master artists. One of the things that happens when you work with, uh, with our collections is that a lot of times the collection is frozen in time and that we don't have the collection that continues to move forward and tell the story of, of the people of today. So there's several ways that you incorporate that voice. So one of the ways is through media, through interviews, through, um, through videos that we have in the hall. And the other way is to work with artists and to bring them into the space and allow them to continue to talk about issues that affect the Pacific today. Uh, we opened to the public here in 1894. So I like to think, you know, that's a hun almost 120 years ago. I like to think of all the people that passed over these floors, um, all of our ali'i, all of our directors, all of the, the hundreds of thousands that have really um, come through this exhibit and this museum in all those years. The museum will be open to the public free from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, September 21st. Uh, importantly, at 9.30, we're gonna have our public opening ceremony. We're gonna have a keynote speech by, by Vilsoni Hedeniko. And um, we'll have a day full of films and lectures, dance, entertainment, food, kind of all things Pacific. Later, we'll talk to another team member of the Pacific Hall Renovation Project, so stick around.